I got one of these season 5 XP reward path boss packs and for today's video I'm going to debut one of the cards from this pack you can probably already tell title thumbnail I'm using Ellie de la Cruz now he's actually going to replace my current wild card the cycle the milestone Ellie and just comparing the attributes right here keep in mind the one on the left all of the attributes are going to be four higher than the base because he's parallel four. You get plus one to every attribute for every parallel that you get with the card. So I've got this finest Ellie as my shortstop, which means I actually need a new wild card. If y'all have any ideas for a wild card, please drop them in the comments. I'm going to go with this set one card chipper jones put him at third base but i'm open to any wild card suggestions down in that comments and we're still making this world series push i don't want to lose any games 152 points away from making world series we are the away team so we get a hit first i've got corbin burns on the mound and we're facing this max freed card and we're playing in one of my least favorite ballparks to play in shield woods i'm just not a big fan of these kind of small max elevation parks that's one pitch one out for us ellie is making his debut the new finest version replacing my wild card the milestone the cycle version i'm hoping he can have a good debut today i'm hoping this card feels just as good oh 99 speed i don't think he'll beat it out i'm glad it's not a strikeout but just like that i'm down to my final out here in the top of the first and it's my new wild card coming up chipper jones from set one and Chipper Jones makes it a 1-2-3, a perfect top of the first inning. Let's see how Corbin Burns does on the mound for us. One pitch, one out. I'm excited to see how Ellie's defense feels because that's one of the reasons I love the other version of his card is he's pretty tall. My opponent's using this finest version. We see he has a 423 average with him, so it's seeming like this version's probably pretty decent too. And Ellie is flying out for our opponents. Now we're one out away from a perfect first inning of our own. And Ronald tries to pull that outside cutter, take it dead center field. After one, we're still tied at zero. One, two. Buckle my shoe. And we strike out with Gary Sheffield. Wait, this Max Freed card seems kind of decent. He's got like a nice little pitch selection. Is that the first base runner of the game? And it is anthony santander gets a one out single here in the second i would love to get the first run or two of this game now too yasmani grandal lines out for out number two i'm glad that's not a double play big meet pete alonzo our final hope in the second oh dear i'm a little bit late on all of these pitches so far we got the first hit the first base runner of this game I'm hoping Corbin Burns can keep his perfect game going now in the second. Full count to Adley Rushman, and I got away with one for round number one. Vlad Jr. to Ellie. Let's see how that arm is. We see the diamond shield, and the arm seems just as good. Two outs now in the second. Corbin Burns one out away from a perfect bottom of the second. And just like that, our perfect game, our no-hitter are gone. Gary Sheffield's on with two outs. And Sammy Sosa hits it to Chipper Jones. After two, we are still tied at zero. I got my first hit in the top of the second. Maybe we could get our first run in the top of the third. Oh, we strike out with Nolan Gorman. That's a great pitch, 0-2. Mike Trout gets a base hit. All of a sudden, 99 speeds on base. If we could get a couple more hits, we'll easily take the lead. And Brian Reynolds, there's one hit. We have two on, only one down, following the perfect, perfect, bringing up 2023 finest Ellie De La Cruz, who's 0 for 1 so far in this game. And he's only got 104 clutch, 83 vision. Ooh, that's not feeling too good right here with a guy in scoring position. And we strike out with Ellie. 0 for 2 so far in this game, two on, two down. The stadium sounds are way louder than anything else, man. That's hurting my ears. Wild card Chipper Jones coming up, trying to start a two out rally, but he's already down 0-2. And he, oh, 99 speed, I gotta send it home. And we just got robbed. 
after two and a half we're still tied at zero looking to make it tied at zero after three corbin burns has been feeling pretty good so far in this game and we strike out delgado to start our half of the third inning or i guess you should say our opponents have the third inning but the one where i'm pitching number nine hitter Derek jeter coming up looking to just keep this shutout going jeter to gorman and that's a quick out number two and i don't have a run yet in this game I thought, I thought Ellie was going to easily make that play. Wait, I thought that was just a dive. We got him out. But I don't have a run yet in this game. If we can get through this bottom of the third without my opponent having one either, I'll be pretty happy. We get finest Ellie to hit it straight to Chipper. And after three, we're still tied at zero. Gary Sheffield, Anthony Santander, and Yasmani Grandal do up for us here in the top of the fourth. And Gary Sheffield, I am loving this card. He truly might be my new favorite hitter, at least for the time being. That's a leadoff single. We got jammed, popped up with Santander. That's out number one here in the fourth. Two and two to Yasmani. What? 112 off the bat, and he's able to dive and knock it down. On a perfect, perfect. That's just out number two. Oh, no. And then Pete Alonso, we missed the hanging change, even with good timing. At least we've had some good swings in this game. I think that's already two or three perfects. And as long as we can keep pitching, I like my chances in this game. But at the moment, I don't have any runs on the scoreboard. And that's a leadoff single for Rondell. Looked like we might have jammed him a little bit. Maybe we could get a double play. He's stealing. I threw a change up. We got a perfect throw, but he's safe at second. Adley is going to send that to Ellie. It's a big out number one. We've got a 3-2 full count to Vlad Jr. Chipper Jones is going to make the play. I tried to look him back a little bit, but he still goes to third. Two outs. Runner is 90 feet away from scoring. If we can get out Gary Sheffield, we've got a scoreless bottom of the fourth. And Gary Sheffield goes yard. 0-2. And that slider caught a little bit too much of the plates. And besides the homer, not really that bad of an inning. We had him a little bit early on the outside slider too, but he just pulls it for a monster home run. We know how good Gary Sheffield's swing has been feeling. I think I've been swinging the bat pretty well this game. We've had some hard hit balls, some perfect perfects, and I don't think two runs will be enough for my opponent to win this game. That's going to be a leadoff double for Nolan Gorman here in the fifth. Just like that, a home run of our own, and we would tie it right back up. And Mike Trout, don't tell me that's going foul. Nuh-uh, that's off the pole. It's 2-0, nobody out in the fifth inning, and we're back tied. Brand new ball game, I guess. Told y'all two runs was not gonna be enough. And now we've got a full count to Brian Reynolds. Ellie is on deck. And Brian Reynolds with another perfect, perfect for us. 81 speed. I think we hit it too hard to be able to get a double. I'm hoping Ellie could come through and get his first hit of the game for us. It's an 0 for 2 start so far. A ground out and a strikeout. Still nobody down here in the fifth. We've got Brian Reynolds on first. And we strike out once again with Ellie. One out here. My wild card Chipper Jones, though, is also 0 for 2. But he's not over two anymore. He's replacing Ellie as my wild card, so I guess that's good. The finest Ellie replaced the other Ellie, but he's not really doing as good as I was hoping in this game. Gary Sheffield coming up. Probably my favorite card right now. Like anytime this card comes up, I just got a good feeling about it for his at bat. Kenley Jansen, the first batter he gets to face, will be Gary Sheffield. We've knocked Max Freed out of this game. And Gary, man, on top of that cutter, we swung at a good pitch. We did not make a good swing. Winning by two. Now we got two outs here in the top of the fifth. And Santander on top of that change, but not before. Four runs come across to score. I'm going to leave Corbin Burns in. He's got a lefty and then a couple righties. I'm just really hoping that we can hold on to this lead. And we should be able to make this play. Nolan Gorman, nice dive. Gold shield. It's out number one in the fifth for us. Yeah, Corbin Burns, that's what I'm saying, bro. What a play. Derek Jeter sends it to the same spot. That one's able to sneak through. Got him chasing a cut around side. And now we're looking for a double play following the one-out single. 
Julio watches. Strike three. Two outs now in the bottom of the fifth, but look who it is. Finest Ellie. For me, he's over three. For my opponent, he's over two, and we're trying to make him over three. And that's ball four to Ellie. Missed my spot. The tying run is on first base. Go ahead, run comes up with two outs in the form of Ronald Acuna Jr., who on the first pitch just grounds down to Chipper Jones. After five, all of a sudden, we're winning four to two. Wait, that's a strikeout. Oh, I thought I just checked my swing pretty easily. And I really wish, because in the settings, you can turn the audio. Like, you can adjust the levels of the crowd, the announcers, sound effects. I really wish there was a separate audio slider for the stadium sounds. Because those are the same ones as the sound effects, right? The crack of the bat. And I want the crack of the bat as loud as possible. But I also don't want those stadium sounds blasting my eardrums like that. Because they're much louder than the game sounds. Even though they're controlled by the same slider, they're definitely not on the same level. Those stadium sounds are much louder than the crack of the bat, the pop of the glove. And we're doing nothing in the top of the sixth inning. I've struck out a bit more times this game than I would have liked. This could be Corbin Burns' last inning on the mound. He's at 71 pitches, but he's feeling pretty good. Really, besides a mistake pitch to Gary Sheffield, I'm liking how he feels, as that's one out now in the bottom of the sixth. And we strike out Vlad Jr., a big out number two. Gary Sheffield is now three for three for my opponent in this game. That's going to be a double. I think he's only a triple away, actually, from the cycle. And following that two-out double, a home run would tie the game for my opponent. We did jam him a little bit, had him late on the inside sinker, but he's in scoring position now with two outs. And Sammy Sosa on a slider ties the game maybe i should stop throwing sliders that's what we gave up the two run homer on earlier and that one's just nearly down the middle and besides two two run homers both on sliders it's been a pretty good game for corbin burns on the mound unfortunately we're now tied at four top of the seventh coming up I want to try to take my lead back. And Mike Trout hits it pretty well, but Ellie De La Cruz is really doing good for my opponent at second. Oh, it's still a leadoff single. The go-ahead run on base to start our half of the seventh. And Brian Reynolds is early. It only sucks to see because the Gary Sheffield homer for my opponent had early timing, but it happens if we really want to be getting some runs. We got to get good timing or perfect timing. A little bit late on that one, and it's out number one here in the seventh. And Ellie's coming up 0 for 3. He's going to be the first guy that Bruce Dark Gritero faces. We've got 99 speed sitting on first base. And I'm really struggling so far with Ellie, but he's better versus righties than he is lefties. And we were facing a lefty to start this game. I tried stealing with Trout. It looked like it's going to be safe. And he's thrown out. So now nobody on. Two down for Ellie. Already in a two strike count. And he's going to ground out to himself. Got good timing, but couldn't get that PC out of the ball. I really can't afford to give up any more runs. Two strikes on Derek Jeter. And I'm down to my final six outs now in this game. It's going to be a base hit. 99 speeds on first. He's stealing. I saw it coming, and I still didn't do a slide step or anything. Scoring position. There's still nobody down here. Ellie's 0 for 2 for my opponent. We walked him in his last AB, and we're getting him to ground out right there. So neither of us have a hit yet this game with the finest Ellie. That's going to be out number two. I got a perfect throw home. If he tries to go, even with 99 speed, I don't think he'd be safe. Perfect throw, right? And he is safe. Okay, that seemed really shallow, even for 99 speed. And all of a sudden, I'm losing by two once again. And Ellie able to make that play, the cannon. At least he's got some good defense, not doing anything for me at the plate. Chipper Jones, Gary Sheffield, and Anthony Santander. If any part of the lineup's going to get this game tied up once again, it's probably this part of the lineup. As Chipper Jones brings up the tying run, a home run right now with nobody on in the eighth, and we're tied up at six. And Gary Sheffield, don't be a line out. Nope. 
Yeah, there we go. 81 speed, still going to be safe at second. The tying runs on base. A home run would now give us the lead. Santander, don't be a double play, please. Oh, man, just like that. Two ounce runner on third, but a home run at this point again would only tie the game. And Yasmani hits it 100 off the bat, but they had him played perfectly. I'm down to my final three outs in this game. Bottom of the eighth coming up. I really just can't afford to allow any more runs. Already down by two. That's going to be more than I want to have to score in the ninth. And the first pitch I throw in the eighth, we're down by three. And I really don't mind giving up early homers like it happens. It just sucks when I've had three or four early timings home run distance but foul in this game. Just going foul, not staying fair, right? So I could have had some more home runs on some early timings, but I'm sure I'm also not paying attention maybe to some swings that my opponent has. Maybe they've had some early timings that have gone foul, right? As Sammy Sosa makes it eight to four, I'm gonna have to double my score in the top of the ninth. We got him chasing a sinker below the zone, but able to get under it still and make it eight to four there. And now it's nine to four. This is going to have to be a great comeback in the top of the ninth inning if we want to get closer to World Series. But we did have him late on that one. So still not getting good timing on these swings. As long as he's not getting good timing, we're going to have our best chance to keep the deficit where it's at as we try to get to the ninth inning. And there we go. We, damned, we, we, we jammed Derek Jeter for round number two. And we jammed Julio Rodriguez, but the eighth inning is still alive. I don't think I can afford to allow any more runs here. And we strike out Ellie, but not before. I think maybe three more runs come across to score. If I could figure out a way to stop giving up homers, I'd be a much better pitcher. Kyle Schwarber pinch hitting for Pete Alonso, and that's out number one here in the ninth inning two outs to score five nolan gorman is it gonna be a hit no we missed that one move the pci way too far up this is gonna have to be one of my best two out rallies ever trout three for three my number nine hitter let's try to make it four 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 we missed that one a little bit and we end up losing nine to four. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Pitching definitely cost me there, but that's one of the reasons I'm just not a big fan at playing at these max elevation, these super tiny ballparks down to 722. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe. We got daily uploads on the channel. Speaking of, you might enjoy one of these on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you in tomorrow's daily upload. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace out.